Hi all, Taylor from Tay Time here, and I finally saw The Last Jedi um, before the end of the year. Um, I enjoyed it. Um, I love the Porgs. I love Rose. We have to protect her at all costs. Rest in peace, Carrie Fisher. Uh, I did think it was a little long, but I enjoyed it. I know there's some divisive things. Oh, well, we can't win them all. So, um, I know this is a little early considering the next one isn't supposed to be out until 2019. And it's in May 2019 as of right now, which could possibly change it to December. Which I think would be better in December just because of the Star Wars lands open. And uh, Star Wars lands Galaxy's Edge's opening in Disney Island and Disney World. But it's not too early to talk about theories and predictions for episode 9. Um... So, I'm going from 10 to 1 in what I think will definitely happen and what will be seen. 10. More Maz Kanata. I didn't have enough of her in this one. Let's, let's be honest for 5 seconds. Uh, Lupita's a genius. I need more Maz. End of story. Um, 9. More Force Ghosts. Now, I will admit, when I first saw Yoda, I was like, yo, he doesn't have the ghost thing on him. Uh... What? Oh my god! But then I was like, no, he's a ghost, and now that Luke is gone, which by the way was a beautiful shot with the, oh, with the two sons and the score, oh god. That just, that Luke's theme, oh my god, I can't. Um, I do think we will be seeing more Force Ghosts. My hand is getting tired, and I have no idea how I'm going to hold my phone and switch my camera. <laughs> so, number eight. Rose and or Finn will be related to someone we know. And this is not a race thing. I just think that we they're related to somebody we know. Not necessarily Lando, not necessarily, um... Oh my god, what's his name from Rogue One? You all know who I'm talking about from Rogue One. Like, the best part of Rogue One, let's be real. But they might be related to someone we know. Number seven. I am on the Poe Ray ship. I am not the only one of my friends on the Poe Ray ship. That uh, meeting of them, an official introduction, was... I liked that. They had, like, a little bit of chemistry, and I was like, yes! Number six. What went down with Rey leaving after the Snoke th throne room sequence? All right, y'all. We're going to talk about this for five seconds. Now, it very well could be a deleted scene. However, I think the deleted scenes are more along the lines of how did the Jedi Temple books get into the Millennium Falcon, what was the third piece of Jedi training, my hand is getting tired again, it would have been the same thing if I had used my stand, but what happened, cause clearly Hux walked in and was like, the fuck, I'd end, like also Snoke's body, like the bottom half just like finally fell, like, what happened? Um, five. This is a sad one. Leia will sadly have to die. Rest in peace forever, Carrie Fisher. Hopefully we see Gary again in his little alien dog form. Which also means there most likely will be a time jump. Which I actually think would be really cool. Um, number four. Phasma is not dead. I refuse to believe this. She's not dead. I want her to come out like full-blown Gwendolyn Christie. Like, I don't watch Game of Thrones, but full-blown. What's her character's name in Game of Thrones? Bryn. Like, just full-blown Gwendolyn Christie. No helmet. Ah! I just need more Phasma. Um, three. And this is one that my friends and I have discussed quite a bit. I'm going to end up dropping my phone. There we go. <laughs> this is a fail. Um, Hux will have a power struggle. Now, I have to give Donald Gleason a lot of credit. A lot of credit. Donald did great work in here, but again, you also have to follow what is in the script. He was going to shoot Kylo dead with that blaster. Like, put him out of his misery. He was, he was clearly on crate, like, starting to have a power struggle. He was clearly having issues, and he was having issues in Force Awakens too, but this power struggle, it's not like Tarkin and Vader and um, Palpatine at all. At all. I really think there's going to be a power struggle, and I'm going to be intrigued to see how that goes down. 
Number two, Ray's real parents will be revealed. Yes, I do believe Kylo was lying to her. There's no other explanation. He was lying to try and get her to join his side. I, 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 yeah. And number one, and a lot of people might be shocked that this is my number one, but, oh well, it's my number one. Um, that little boy at the end is going to have a lot more bigger role to play, and I'm also happy that they didn't make that a post-cred. Um, just saying. Um, so, let me know what your thoughts were on The Last Jedi. Let me know if you think any of my predictions or theories or wants... Um, Phasma's not dead. Um, let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments down below. Please like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.